She's not an unsung hero. She's a, she's a hero that's been in plain sight in our community. But because she's so effective, she always reflects back the glory on others. And she never seeks the limelight. Tonight, I'm joined by her sister and her daughter and her friends. And we will all collectively bear witness to saying thank you to this remarkable leader. Now, we know that she is a poet, a playwright, a performer, and a multimedia artist. And for some people, that would be a career. <laughs> but she's also an award-winning author and journalist, and I didn't know this, but Asena Lawrence, who wrote this up, did the research, Renee has written five books and six plays. Wow. Now, we remember her voice when she worked at a newspaper that used to be called The Oregonian. <laughs> Twice she was nominated for Pulitzer Prize. Two times. Some of you know that her roots are in teaching, but did you know that she was the only African American teacher at Roosevelt High School? And did you know that she co founded a youth resiliency building group called I Am Making Other Resiliency Experiences or More and has helped young people? going through their own struggles to get to a better place. Woo. Renee, and I'm just, I'm just hitting the highlights here. I mean, I don't want that hope coming down because Poison and I are having some problems tonight, but I, uh, but I, um, I'm just hitting the highlights. She now heads her own company, Renee Mitchell Speaks, and she serves on Portland Parks and Recreation's Interstate Firehouse Cultural Center Community Advisory Committee. Because of her dedication and the dedication of some other community leaders, we're going to save that institution that Charles Jordan once saved, and we're going to repurpose it for the next generation. So let's thank her for the work she's doing now. I'm really sorry that my wife Patty is not here, because as big a fan as I am of Renee Mitchell, I think Patty's even a bigger fan. Um, when you live in this community, you really deeply appreciate the people who make it a better place. And I know that sounds like a cliche, but we live in a time of such negativity and divisiveness that to have an opportunity to come together to thank someone who has brought such beauty and such joy and such depth to our community is a privilege. So will you join me in thanking Renee Mitchell for her lifetime of service? 